Oh. I'm touching myself tonight. Hey everyone, it's me, the Nerdy Hero. Welcome back to another nerdy commentary video. We are doing Deadpool this time around. And for those that haven't done, haven't seen us do one of these, we barely, we've only done it twice before, right? So basically, me, Eunice, and we actually have here Simone from World of Mera on Instagram. We're going to be watching Deadpool together via Skype, and we're going to be recording our audio. And for you guys listening at home, all you can do is queue up your own copy of Deadpool, queue it up with us, and then we all just watch it together, and you guys can listen to our commentary as we just laugh and talk about random stuff. You see, we would show you guys the movie, but, you know, it's pretty inappropriate, so yeah. we don't want to do that. <laughs> Also, copyright is, is the main issue. Yeah. That's why we don't see the movies. No, I don't even think that's the problem, to be honest. Out. I think it's just very... Like these guys. Eunice, are you, oh, old, yeah. enough? Eunice, are you old enough to see this movie? <laughs> oh, me? Eunice. Dude, uh, what are you about to? Let me say something. On the internet, it's actually 14 and up. And up. On the internet, right? right. Yes. Okay. It, there's like a little check mark, check here if you're above 18. Yep, check. <laughs> that, that's it. I'm old enough. That's a free yeah. pass. That's a free the Pornhub does the pass. same thing, but you know, I avoid it. So, like. I'm sure Wade would approve. Yes. He was. Eunice was raised right. So, being in the mindset of me and Simone, we're going we're gonna to taint it. Poor, poor boy. <laughs> oh, I'm man. sorry, Eunice. I apologize in advance. Uh -huh. <laughs> so for those listening at home and are about to watch the movie with us we are literally at like two seconds in it's the first shot of the 20th century logo we are above the little two with a bright light hanging on like shining into the screen so we're about to hit play in like five seconds here and we're all going to start with the 20th century fox logo so you guys ready uh, okay right, i'm ready so here we go ready five four three two one and now. Okay. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wow, that's real loud. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? How do you even do that? No, it's not him. He's playing a video. So you weren't playing the real thing? <laughs> no, I did, I did, I did. Oh, I was gonna say, like... Wow. Alright, here's the intro. What's on your screen right now, Jose? Oh, I got the 20th Century Fox, the uh, cup, the coffee being okay, spilled, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm Rob Blackfield, the little Easter egg, the creator of Deadpool. Some douchebags. Some mm -hmm. mutants. God's <laughs> perfect idiot. Look at that. Got sexiest man alive. I still think Hugh Jackman's better looking. I don't know. British villain. Very stereotypical. Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> Green Lantern. <laughs> who is this? I, I, I wish they actually used a picture of Ryan as him. Yeah, yeah I don't know who that was yeah. or if that was Ryan. Yeah, or that would was... be really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Good. Hello Kitty. Yes. Now at one point the official Twitter for Deadpool was following only one account and that was oh, Hello Kitty. Point? Hello Kitty. I guess yeah. not anymore. I don't know. Maybe they got blocked by Hello Kitty. I mean I mean I tried DMing them but they didn't answer. Hold up. Hello Kitty. Oh shit, I'm blocked too. <laughs> Yeah, nine hundred sixty-five thousand for what? For what? Did who? Where are you? Huh? Gotcha. Produced by Produce. Assets. I still love this intro so much. It's my favorite yeah. intro. I think of a, almost a lot of films. If you're gonna give me like, oh, the Watchmen intro is great too. Actually, yeah. See, can I, I would put I this. I would put this above the Watchmen one though. I'm sorry. Oh. This whole intro is better than like Batman five, versus. Five, five. Batman. There you go. Wow. Like, here's your origin. It just starts off like, yep, he's in the suit. We're just in a taxi. Yeah, just cash. Segway tours. Something like that. <laughs> Look like an avocado face. Fucked another avocado.
<laughs> That's like the first like fourth wall break right there. Just yeah. oh, on the camera. <laughs> That was the Doritos gum as well. I thought that was quite funny. He's got like guns and everything, just freaking. <laughs> you guys heard the story on why he did this taxi driver? Why he did the story behind How the taxi driver? The Pinder yeah. is a real person. The name, yeah. No, it's because his best friend in real life, Ryan Reynolds, died from getting struck by lightning, and his name's Dopinder, and he reminded him of. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> oh, just like a very agreeable one, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you called? <laughs> Here's the thing about Deadpool now, right? Because that Fox logo, it's one of the last few times we're ever going to see that Fox logo in front of Deadpool. Yeah. Because we got Deadpool 2, and then after that, ha, are we, wait, ask me this. The Disney, Disney buys Fox now, right? And that means, you know, yeah. New Mutants and X-Men Dark Phoenix and Deadpool 2 will come out next year. They're going to come out. But what is the logo that's going to play in front of it? Mm. Because, you know, these are still... Well, I never know. We will know in, you know, a few months, <laughs> half a year, you're going to know. <laughs> Will it still be the Fox logo just to, you know, end it? And then after that will be the Marvel Studios? Because obviously Fantastic Four is going to get rebooted. X-Men is most likely going to be rebooted. Yeah, be but you will, they will not... They're going to keep Deadpool rated R, most likely, they've already said, for Marvel no, Studios. No, Bro, if they don't... He did not say 100% yes. He said that they're going to be yeah, most likely doing it, basically, is what uh, Bob Iger said. I mean, James Gunn just said Deadpool will stay rated R. I don't know if he said that. You're saying he said that. I didn't see him say it. I heard he him be excited it. about it. No, he tweeted it. Mm, I have no... I can either confirm or deny he did that. Maybe do your freaking <laughs> research. <okay. laughs> Alright. So, the way this Deadpool movie is now... I don't know about Deadpool 2, but the way this movie is right now... It kind of still fits in the MCU. Shit. Like, X-Men can be rebooted. Fantastic Four will obviously get rebooted. They won't reboot Deadpool. They're just going to incorporate him into the MCU. Mo they have not said they're going to just bring him in, and they haven't said they're going to reboot him. They just people are just assuming, yeah, Ryan Reynolds is coming back for the MCU. It's like, um, but where are they going to bring in an R-rated character into the MCU? They're just going well, to most likely. Most likely, likely you know, they're going to keep him rated R. Movie. What did they? I never. What did they call Wanda and Quicksilver? They didn't call them mutants, right? No, they didn't. Okay. Now, you know about the ammo bag joke that keeps happening. In the yeah, movie. yeah. They didn't have the, the budget for all these big guns yeah, and stuff, so they just yeah. kept acting That's like he keeps forgetting the bag. The <laughs> and he leaves in the taxi at the end of the movie, and also yeah. in the beginning here, he doesn't have it. Yeah. Uh, he did such Yo, a good the job. The actor that plays Dopinder is very funny, too. I wanna shoot. That's baby. Funny. <laughs> Now this is all from the test footage, exactly. Yeah, that was that was quote unquote leaked online <laughs> by somebody up there in, in Fox. In small circle. They like narrowed it down to like five people, and they're just like, mm. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Smooth criminals on under. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Bam. Oh, that was nice. This is so good. Do you remember? Do you remember in the test footage when he lands, he starts yeah. talking to them? It was like a little thing where he just talks, like, oh, hello. <laughs> I love his eyes. Oh, yeah. The whole time I This is all ADR. 
That's crazy. <laughs> Body's being dragged. Is that Sex Snyder? <laughs> looked like him. Hey son, where are you? Uh, nothing, just had a little traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's too good. Yeah, and... Yep. Uh, this is so good. <gasps> I left the stove. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what he's thinking about this whole time. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Remember when the set foot and set videos and set photos were coming out, right? During about the bridge scene. And um, I was thinking to myself, like almost their whole time of production, they, we kept seeing set photos of the bridge. Like that took up most of the production it was just the bridge scene. Where's the rest of the like... Oh, wait. The guy that played him for the, the double, Andre <laughs> Treeks, whatever his name is, is a huge douchebag. Are you gonna bring up that story again? <laughs> so annoying. Good for bones. Jeez, there's literally no balance on this mic. We should have been. We, they should have played the X Men theme during that little shot of the jet leaving. Yeah, yeah fuck you, Danny Elfman. Why <laughs> everything is Danny Elfman? Playing Danny <laughs> Elfman. Playing Danny Elfman, right? <laughs> oh, it was Junkie XL. You love Junkie XL. He did this movie. I mean, I don't love them, but. Well, oh shit. Well, that's so bad. I don't see me bleed. This guy's got the right idea. He wore brown pants. Fine. I only have 12 bullets, so you're going to have to share. Let's count them down. Love this fight. Well, you can finish that. It's fine. I love this whole thing. Now, here's the one flaw with it, though, right? Hey, Jack. Dishwasher. <laughs> The one flaw with it, right, is, is that he says he's got 12 bullets, that's 6 bullets each gun, right? Which works, but here's the one problem, is that the bullets are counted 12, 11, 10, 9, all the way back down. Really, it'd be like 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on each gun. He said shit fuck. I'm thinking way to... Like, Sorry, oh, wait, wait, here. <laughs> that one guy wasn't even paying I attention, yeah. And I Love that little jump. <laughs> Did they not know that guns don't work on his ass? That's slow motion right there. Does he have super speed? I don't get it. That wasn't super speed. How is he moving so fast and their other ones are like still slow? He was moving slow too. It was just a slow motion shot. You need to see everything through the speed force. <laughs> <laughs> or... <laughs> Main Street. I see what he did there.
Oh, he's got what, one bullet left now. I used that bullet and then his swords on three people. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah. Lord, well, that bell was very satisfying. Just ding. Oh. <laughs> I'm touching myself. <laughs> He just skips around. Yep. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Now they never explained this, right? Obviously, this guy is a mutant. But they make it like. Oh my gosh. I love how that says $10,000 shirt. Like, how Ryan had to pay to get the rights to have that shirt in this movie. Pineapple and olives? <sighs> I love the whole kitty litter joke, though. <laughs> He's like, thanks. He looks at it, just puts it away. I don't get it. That's what the was point. the litter thing? What was the cat litter thing? It's just a joke. Like you're not supposed to get it. And the joke is kind of killed by the fact that you hear the toilet flushing when he gets out, so he didn't use. <laughs> Slade Wilson, Wade Wilson, Deathstroke, Deadpool. Why right, you gotta bring that up, man? So, Mary, how do you feel about this? I'd be <laughs> petrified. <laughs> like, I'd be so scared. <laughs> I love the little, the that little kiss right. on the freaking cheek was too funny. That was improvised as well. I love it. I am for India aroused. Now you guys Meg. notice this little reference to Marvel Cinematic Universe right here. Here you go. Feige's I'm Pizza. Famous. Kevin Feige. President of Marvel Studios. What, what do you mean? How is this a reference to the MCU? Well, it's a reference to Marvel Studios. It's just what? The, the pizza name. Feige's Pizza. What's, what's the, oh, Feige. Feige. Now you notice that the t-shirt is a reference to the Golden Girls. The one he's wearing right there. What is he wearing? I can't see it. I'm just a bad guy. It's one of the Golden Girls. Uh, and there's still more Golden Girls, Easter eggs, and in, in, uh, Deadpool 2 as well. 
<laughs> Two things. Yeah, Beatrice Arthur. That's what he's wearing right there. And then the swords are, are in a set photo in a photo from Deadpool 2 show that the swords are named B and Arthur for one of the Golden Girls, Beatrice Arthur. Ah, oh, Mark. Uh, Mark of the mouth. <laughs> Eunice, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, follow me. Shout out. Link in my bio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna sound so gay, but I actually had the blowjob drink. You're you're so gay, bro. No, I'm joking. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with being gay. Yeah, not according to this guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that Rob Liefeld was in this bar just not too, by the way. Nick. in this bar scene like I think twice or something. Is that Tyrese in the rock? Oh wait, no. <laughs> Tyrese in the rock, nice. I love how the look at seat that he's alive. He said oh like, <laughs> like damn. <laughs> now oh, you gotta take a screenshot you got like charlie sheen is the only one i noticed just now but if you take a screenshot of all the names on that list it's like some crazy celebrities um, on there yeah, isn't like justin that's bieber on that list too there's a bunch of them in there <laughs> mom this dude just said, Mom? <laughs> oh my gosh. They should just, like, she's another reason why I'm heavily confused. She is the ideal Catwoman. Such a, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. I can't know. I couldn't know his tatas. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I love this dialogue between the two of them. They're perfect. Their chemistry is so nice. Yeah. Look at that little smile he gives her. Aww. Chemistry as well. It's not just romantic. It's really good. I was actually really that when they were developing the movie, I kind of didn't like the idea of him having a romantic interest in the movie. But until I saw this, this just sold me on it. Forty-eight minutes, man. And low fight dessert. I see what you did there. Same. <laughs> I would have that same expression, like, oh my god. <laughs> Kind of a balls and holes. Bam. Uh, 
I mean, those wings do look nice. <laughs> and the music too, calendar girl. No, mom, this is not porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is two minutes and thirty seven seconds. I mean if this says that's very impressive, Flash would be. Jenny's <laughs> New Year. You're the dog. These people. And these are the longest scenes in the movie to, like, film as well. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> She's even prettier with longer hair. Oh, my God. Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> when this one was Thanksgiving, right? I was hoping to God that there was like other people in the on the table, like family or whatever, you know, or, like the friends, weasel, and all that. They're not family though. Friendsgiving, then. Jeez. Bloodshot. See what they did there? Nope. Goals. You guys know the actress' name is like brunette in another language. Marina. Marina. <laughs> they showed his ass cheeks. Shit, that's fucked up. And then she says Empire. It's like, oh, that's a real deep cut nerd joke right there because of Star Wars when it first came out it wasn't called A New Hope, it was just called Star Wars. So Empire was when that was called Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the real hardcore nerds don't call it A New Hope, they just call it Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And then Empire. For the ladies. <laughs> Simone, how you doing over there? <laughs> You're fine, absolutely fine. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> Now, from what I remember, this I think was the first day of shooting. And like they this was actually no, because they're so low on budget, they did this before the official production started. <laughs> Fucking Fox. Fuck you, Danny Elfman. Oh my god, just playing with Danny Elfman for everything. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun. The way he looks at her, too. This is like Ryan Reynolds at his best, because I've seen a lot of Ryan Reynolds movies, and they're always, you know, fine acting, but here, like, I feel like he's really just gives it his <laughs> all. Yeah. Yeah, I agree.
Let's <laughs> avoid not doing anything rash. <laughs> Murder everywhere. How's he making it? You know, you can blame Fox for all the budget cuts and making this movie like only $58 million to make or something like that. But I mean, we got this movie because of it. This is a really good movie for what they hit to it with. Yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> You know, there's one thing about HX that I don't get. He, his mutant ability is he can't um, he can't feel pain. Okay, I get that, right? He could still bleed out. <laughs> A stab to the heart should still kill him. Regina, Ryan, yeah, Regina. Rums is fun. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like that. I think it'd kill him. Francis. God, I'd hate to be near Francis. Oh, the Sharpay reference because in the comics yeah, it says that. Yeah, yeah. Like in the comics it says that Deadpool looks Sharpay. like Ryan yeah. Reynolds crossed with a Sharpay. Yeah. Dad? <laughs> Dad. Oh my god. Damn. Sideways in the most colossal way. Dang that joke though. My most prized possession. Aww. This is the perfect amount of humor and just mockery. The comedic chemistry in the makes me wonder. You know, Ant Man and the Wasp is already being is being called a romantic comedy. So I'm kind of curious because the first the first Ant Man was called a, a heist film. Now it's in the romantic comedy with the sequel. I wonder if it can. Top I, you see, this the heist film really got me hyped, and then I heard romantic comedy, and I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> well, Ant Man One was a heist, and then Ant Man and the Wasp was gonna be a romantic comedy. Oh wait, then yeah, my bad, I misinterpreted that. Uh oh, more. Damn, bro, dude's mad lucky. This dude. <laughs> bro, he has Blake Lively and Marina back, bro. Like, I love her. That's the one thing he can thank Green Lantern for. Yep. <laughs> That's where you gotta get cancer. <laughs> Oh man. 
in the dead pool, and you're gonna die. Graduate. This improv uh, has to be like one of the best I've seen this week. And then that guy over there came in looking for a Grim Reaper type. The whole five 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 thing is something you should pick. You people pick up is the fact that what is it? All all the five 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 numbers are just jokes in Hollywood. They're not real phone numbers. Yeah, yeah, they're all, all movies and TV shows. So I think I was watching the behind the scenes, or was it the commentary? And I think it was commentary. And uh, he was really upset that he went with the five 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 thing. He's like, oh, I can't believe we have to, we had to stick to that. He wanted to break it. Uh, sorry. Special Forces 41 confirmed. Every seven weeks, Sam Raimi huh. folks get a haircut. Just to wash the taste out. Eunice, so, your so. audio is too loud. You gotta turn the TV down. And now you spend your days sticking out for change. Is that better? A little, little lower. <laughs> a little lower. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you eating? <laughs> I'm not eating. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you? No, I ate beforehand. I said that would affect the you know, recording. No, don't worry about it. Because I'm going to eat popcorn beforehand in a movie theater. You never recorded your audio in the movie theater. You don't know that. That's true. Oh, wait, I love this joke. Honestly, Taken 1 was the only good movie. <laughs> Taken 2 and 3 were trash. Simone, you ever see Taken? Yeah, I love Taken. Taken 1. I like Taken 2 as well. Nah. Them jumping on top of rooftops for almost the whole third act, throwing grenades on the ground for no reason. <laughs> Skip. Couldn't do it. I think I just don't want watch like a lot of those movies so like, I still appreciated that movie regardless. Okay. Let's pro con the superhero. Oh here you go. They get down a gaggle of ass. <laughs> Look at their film deals. Look what drives you to the discounts. I love that. I love how they've managed to like expand this whole like scene out for so long. It works quite well for me. <laughs> I 
I'm just putting this in the MCU right now, and it's just too funny. <laughs> Neverland Mansion. Hey, Jose. Yeah. What mini are you at? Check your minute. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine minutes. In what? 12 seconds. All right. <laughs> Your poor wife. That'd be Kitty Pride. Is that the Dang. <laughs> I like her smile. I love how they did that McAvoy Stewart. Oh, the McAvoy Stewart thing was great, yeah. Yeah, that was so good. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're animated. <laughs> so many green hands in Jericho. Senator. Wasn't she like running for, or was she going to be Wonder Woman? But her acting wasn't good enough, apparently. I don't know. I swear that's why they like limited her. Is she married or she's dating she just him? Wasn't there. She's with Henry Cavill now. Are they married no, or just dating? She was with Cavill. Oh, they're not together Cavill anymore? Now, oh, like, really? She was with Cavill. Like... Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. I said the same thing. Juicy gossip. Oh. <laughs> Damn. No, like, I'm just saying, she, like, she was with Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill with someone else now, me, but. Uh. What? <laughs> That's. 
weird. I was... Who's men? What are you talk? There's nothing weird about me being with Henry Cavill. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know if you, he's Henry 35 or something years old, and you're like... 50. Listen, when he's 50, I'll be 39. That'll be okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to go with that. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Simone, help me here. Help me. I'm, I'm staring at Wade Wilson. Well, an injection right now, but, you know, same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it should have been one domain if it wasn't for Gal. Jamie Alexander. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Lady Sif was not done justice. Huh? Mm-mm. Mm. This whole <laughs> this whole joke right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah on the behind the scenes they had so many like different um so many different ad libs that he was doing you guys ever tried that being in ice water no I oh had other things to do with my time. I've seen it. <laughs> I have run I into the ocean in the winter time. <laughs> nah, man, like what well, ice? I've done it with basketball, and it's crazy. Oh. It's like basketball therapy. I want to see Vanessa too. <laughs> like, who doesn't want to see Vanessa? <laughs> Ew, whoa. Feet fetish. I like to do that play to Ajax as well. I like what he did Ed? with that role, Hellboy. Ed Spine. 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 A British villain, basically. I don't remember his name. I can't say his name right. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know the funniest part is. You think they were making you 
Oh, same. <laughs> freedom fighter, freedom, freedom fighters. <laughs> Can't even speak. Wait, no, I was talking about freedom writers. You ever seen that? Yeah. Wait, Jose, freedom have you seen that movie? Writers, like writing or yeah, writing? Yes, I've seen the writing one. Yeah. Sleep like that, you know that, right? That's fucked up. <laughs> Couple days like that. Sleep normally. Imagine like that. That's crazy. Oh, that's the cancer getting out of his body, or what? That's his body just mutating. Mhm. Mm people who carry. Oh my god. They basically they're saying like people who carry X gene may not. Um, you know, have mutant powers when they carry it, they could take it out of them by putting their body under enormous amounts of stress. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a new dawn, it's a new day. You can't get it, Spider Man Hong Kong. It was always part of the MCU, confirmed. <laughs> Damn, bro, 11 hours for this makeup process. That's insane. That's a half a day right there. I want to. I want to. Oh, you fucker, bitch. Mother of her don't. Jose, would you have enjoyed her as one woman? I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't you can never really, you can never really know for sure. She hasn't played a role that's anywhere like Wonder Woman, so I can't really see what she would be like portraying that. I'm claustrophobic as shit, so I would just be. <laughs> I'd die. Uh, I'm claustrophobic too in the mouth, but just you're not really. I don't know. So, it's not the first time he's been in boxing. You ever see Barry? Oh my god, I hate Barry. Oh, Barry's such a cool movie. It's literally <laughs> just Ryan Reynolds in a box the whole movie. He's buried alive and it's insane. Well, shit. 
Cool. <laughs> that got lucky. That worked. He comes across so casual, like, oh, massive explosion. All right then. where the 11 hours really came in, at least for that scene. So what are you, what are you guys expecting for Deadpool 2? I just want to see time travel. Really? <laughs> what do you think about you, Simone? I haven't really got an opinion, to be honest. I you try want, not just to have an opinion more? about these movies, because I feel we just enjoy them anyway, so I don't really know. I love these movies. Mm. No, but Jose, what's your opinion on the bad vigilante and guy? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Whoa, what the what? It's John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Oh man. Oh, there it goes. Did you just curve that onto his back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Casual? Straight up candy cane mode. Damn, this looks like a nice... Nice, candy. nice what? Oh. Candy cane? Did this happen in the comics? Because if it did like that mm. scene with the thing bent on his back, that would have been sick. Mm, no. Is that Thor's hammer? Oh wait, no, it's just a rock. <laughs> hey man, we're in the MCU now. We got to keep looking for clues. <laughs> Hey, it's that alien from Star Wars. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Who's that guy from Star Wars that looks like the skin type that Wade has? What? <laughs> Nothing. Shut up. I can just get the cure to L-Cancer. L-Cancer? I got the cure to L-Everything. l The way everybody looks at him in this scene, I'm like, are people really that? Like, I, I get. Know, right? I'm like, I think it's a little over top of how people look at him. If someone walked by me like that, I'd be like, I'm like, oh. I just keep walking. I don't even look. Really, I don't care. The way people are like, oh my god, I'm like, who is that? Like, how are you Christ. alive? Like, you got pretty like a I get it's a movie and I'm trying to give you a point. Like, you can't. A dramatic touch. I'm trying to sell you the point, the fact that he feels like he's not worthy of her anymore. Listen, in New York, you do account to these type of things. 
Mm, no, you obviously you and I both both in New York plenty of times. I don't know. I feel like in New York, you just people don't care. No, like there are people obviously that don't care, but exactly not me. But like my mom has experienced that type of shit. It's crazy. <laughs> I love all the cutscenes for this. This is so good. Tell me, seeing the bloopers where they're just like improv yeah, all yeah. this. It's amazing. They were hate fucking. The brain hole still. Captain Deadpool. No. No. Just, no. just Deadpool. Just Deadpool, yeah. <laughs> Deadpool. Sounds like a fucking franchise. That sounds like a franchise. You see, like, this montage is a nice little progression of how he gets his uh, suit. And I love how he's just going around like asking everyone who is Francis and then like that and put it. Where's Francis? <laughs> yeah, exactly like <laughs> Oh, the grand the old lady. God I miss cocaine. <laughs> I love how like she knows that it's just blood. Yeah, she's blind, but she, she's, yeah, she, knows. Like, just, she knows. Why? Because yeah. she can. I love the way the suit came out. So kind of mm-hmm. accurate. Oh, the gazeva. Oh, Zamboni. Sorry, Zamboni. The <laughs> <a> gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Monkey. Yeah. That guy's just like. That guy's looking like. I love how he takes the gun out like he's about to shoot her. Like, <laughs> and then just cut away. The line is so blurry. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Fully loaded. Ah. What would you do if Deadpool was chasing you? That's 
Batman. Scare? It's not scare. <laughs> not as scary as if Batman was chasing you. I feel like I get a good couple of laps in. The camera. <laughs> <laughs> the unicorn. I love how they did that, though. I love how they did that. You realize he makes a Batman and Robin joke right here, making fun of DC. I don't. I don't remember, to be honest. Yeah, just in a second. <laughs> Here's how you save some money on CGI. You just look at it. Put a rag over it. Oh, yeah. oh shit. God, I miss cocaine. That's crazy. How did they make? Oh wait, Fox, Batman, Gotham. Or just because he didn't care. <laughs> yeah, I have those too. <laughs> a unicorn, some tissues. Yeah, he's going to work. Oh, wow. Okay. Forget the bike. You never really fully explain what this whole operation is, who's heading it, all that. They're just like, ah, they make mutants and they sell them. It's Ajax that's in the head. That's basically uh, what it is. They make musicians and they sell he it. He seems like a manager, but he seems like a guy who would have a supervisor. The guy in the business suit that really pays for everything. Damn, he's ripped. I didn't even realize how bad, how huge he is. Final 
stick out and stuff like that. They did my sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Magoo, man, that's an old joke. Wait, what is he talking about? It feels huge in the sky. No, I'm joking. <laughs> You could have made her an Amazon at least. <laughs> you crushing hard on her now, Simone? Always. Is a strong female attractive character? Simone's in. <laughs> strong female, yes. Attractive, no. Wow. Ooh. Wow. I don't know if it's her looks or if it's bitch. She's strong, you know? Yeah, I don't know if it's the actress or if it's just her the bitchy attitude. <laughs> no. Frangry. Ah, Eunice, look away. What is this? This is a, a McDonald's. <laughs> Stanley. Damn, that's a good happy meal. That's, this is definitely the best cameo ever. I don't know, it's top three for me. You realize, That's hot. you realize, is when this is one of those moments where it's like, hi, hi, and roll credits. <laughs> Shut up. Dogs are funny. <laughs> she felt the connection, guys. There was awakening in the force. Jeez. Maximum effort, let's go! It would have been funny if a girl came in there and started pissing on the stool. <laughs> uh, what? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, this movie's so, like, weird. And they would have... I mean, there's nothing wrong with... You know, I'm going to stop talking. Yeah, keep, yeah, keep stop. <laughs> He's digging a hole. Take it to the hole. That's what she said. It's me. <laughs> Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. Oh, it's Ajax. Hell? It is Ajax. Spoiler alert. Knocked out. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck. Yo, imagine the purses on the floor. Are you gonna do this for us in the movie? <laughs> oh, Bernadette. Oh my god, what the hell? Yo, what's gonna happen? Is she gonna die? Bro, if she dies, I'll be pissed. I love Ryan Reynolds so much. Take care. <laughs> they get angry. Chocolate yolk. <laughs> Give me all the guns. Not it wasn't in the budget to have all the guns. I'm glad though. Three thousand. The Quintana's in the comics, so doesn't need the guns. Still take all for energy. I go with you, but I don't want to. The same. <laughs> so this is a helicarrier from the Avengers, pretty much. Just a smaller one, or uh, a broken down one. Does this movie take place? Oh, it didn't have a date, I guess you could just make up. It takes place after the Winter Soldier, so that's why they have a helicarrier. <laughs> Cockroach. She's wearing his jacket from the beginning of the movie. Oh my god. That's Zack Snyder worthy right there. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> Ripley from Alien 3. Silver balls. <laughs> Save me money.
<laughs> this probably is my favorite joke in the whole movie. Yeah, that, me too. That and also the, um, you know, back of where you store. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's probably one of my favorites. Chrome penis. X Force, guys. X Force. Deadpool 3, X Force. Let's go. Get it because it's Christmas. So is Deadpool considered a Christmas movie? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is better than Justice League team up run. <laughs> Bantu's gone. Ooh, the music. <laughs> so please wait. Oh, oh, oh. That's one hell of a hit for sure. Her powers are sick. So <laughs> Oh yeah, she's not. I forgot bulletproof. And neither is Deadpool if you just take a bunch more. <laughs> Suck a cock. CGI is so good right now. Better than Steppenwolf. <laughs> Fifty-eight million dollar movie. That's a low budget for a movie like this. Mm -hmm. 
walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he bulletproof? Why is he hiding from the gun? He's not bulletproof. He can regenerate. That's not bulletproof. And it's not like that. Bro, but like... He's being shot. If you look closely, you do see blood. Like, he's getting shot. But like, yeah. only a little bit. He just regenerates. Yeah, but that's not being bulletproof. Colossus is bulletproof. Luke Cage is bulletproof. <clears throat> Wolverine and Colossus Nicola doesn't not. go back to metal, right? I mean, un I mean, go, go back, back to human form? In this movie, no. Oh, but he can, like, in... He can, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, she just killed people. Really sometimes, I swear. <laughs> sometimes it's chick you gotta put her down. You guys hear the soundtrack? No. It's better than Danny Elfman's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. Oh. oh my god, I'm totally just getting this now. Oh, I'm done. I'm so done. He didn't kill. Parts for those see, now, if it was a flash scene, a speedster scene, you would see everything in slow motion and him running at normal speed. He's running in slow motion also. Is he fast? Sure, yes. He's got quick heightened senses and heightened agility and all that, but I'm not saying it's nowhere near no speedster level. No, it's not, but... It just goes against all. It's just accelerated. Great, but it's, at it's, a it's, a rate. Super, it's a super. It's a it's a superhero film. Go with that logic. Anti-hero. <laughs> That's a good one. He's got nothing for that.
<laughs> I like the fighting sound I can use for this. Deadpool's very agile on how he fights and all that. <laughs> Still takes a hit. My god. This, I don't know why, but this just took, went so left field, went out there in left field, I didn't, I didn't think it was that funny. Just a hater. Yep, I'm a DC fanboy, I don't get Marvel. I don't... <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> That'd be something I would say too, is everything's just trying to be falling off. <laughs> Everyone's dying. It's okay, I got this. <laughs> yeah, I think she was dead for real. <laughs> It's strong, apparently. Because they're supposed to be hosting, you know, mutants. Mutants are very strong. Still, I don't know. Expectation tanks. Very strong. There's like that scene in Spider Man Homecoming where he gets lifts a rock off of himself. Now, in the comics, what is her character? It's like cop. She cat? plays Peekaboo, I think. Peekaboo? No, not Peekaboo. Something. It's like cop. I don't know. It's something. Hence the white blondish streaks she has in her, in her hair. She could have been a dope Domino too. Like she could have literally been anybody. Mm hmm. Copycat. All right. There you go. Oh, 
what? He's already accepted he's gonna die tonight. He's just like, yeah, there's no carry your screwed. Very much. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Spare an enemy. Kill him. I was like, he's gonna kill him so quick here. Else. <laughs> yep, done. <laughs> This is breathtaking. <laughs> I've just been wearing it throughout this entire fighting thing.
That is so goals right there. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like literally a dream right there. Like let's go home and sleep. Nah, let me just go home and sit on you. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken noodle, wow. What in the ass? That was not me. I'm proud of you. What in the ass? That's my new saying. I'm gonna say saying that. Like what? No, like what in the? There you go. Aww. See, the, the meaning of the story is there's more to it than just. <laughs> Looks aren't everything, guys. True love is on the inside. Oh, 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 oh. The amount of goals. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Right, girl. Bring out the hero in you. Now, let's finish this up. Wide shot, pull out. Here we go. That looks nice. It's gonna be the only thing that's pulling out tonight. I just read really, besides, <laughs> yeah. besides that joke. Besides that joke, if I look closely well, at them, he's actually picking her up. She's wrapping her legs around him. Where are you? you? Ah, oh, Tim Miller. I think the song was like the first one on the soundtrack, even like way before it hit Fox. What do you mean? What? Say again? And, like the song was like the first song that was chosen. For the chosen? Um, I think no, the one. Oh, the first one. That the one it in the started intro. off with the first song. I yeah, guess. the one in Maybe? the intro. Yeah, not the album. Because that intro. song was part of the, the CGI test footage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish there was after credits, though. There's the one. Marina <laughs> might She's hot. She's hot, too. Marina. Hot. It's got <laughs> Really now Brianna, who, <laughs> yo, the girl that plays Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Yeah, what about her? How she looks in Deadpool Two. Oh yeah. Oh, my oh God. yes. <laughs> yeah, Brianna Hillbrand. Yeah. Hillbrand. Oh God. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Her hair. Freaking jerking out the unicorn's horns. Do you see her? Like she? How does she have better hair than me? How? Look at that. <laughs> Can we fast forward a little bit or not? Nah, oh, yeah, fine. wait. No, nah, it's after credits. Okay. Mm -hmm. No. Okay then. <laughs> so let's talk about some of the stuff that I was gonna say. Um. So, do you think in two questions for since Disney now owns X Men for X Men Dark Phoenix, the last, uh, the New Mutants, and Deadpool two, will it be the Fox logo playing in front of them? Or will it I be feel like you're Disney? Gonna get, like, maybe like one more. I just feel like you're going to get one more. You think it will be the Fox logo and then that's going to be the last time you yeah, see it? Yeah, like... I think, yeah. Just one more Fox logo and then that's it. Done. Okay. Because, yeah, they won't be doing... Like, we have like 18 months before any real stuff starts happening with the X-Men inside the MCU. So these three movies coming out are happening. Gambit? I'm sorry, that's going to go. The X-23 movie that they're developing? That's going to go out the window. They're going to be focusing and bringing these guys to the MCU. So that means Fantastic Four rebooted. X-Men most likely is going to be rebooted after 
2018. My question to you now is, Ryan Reynolds will remain as Deadpool? Yes. yes. Don't even ask that question. Like, why is that's that's a, that not even a question? <laughs> no one's asked. That's because no one's <laughs> asked that question. Everyone's just assumed. <laughs> of course, I'm like, no, Ryan Reynolds stays because as Deadpool. Because there has to be. <laughs> and Ryan fact, Reynolds did not that, risk his whole entire career. And here's he the thing. wanted this role for so here, long. They're not going to just throw it out and give it to some and other guy. And the way guy. he is on social media, like he just fills the whole role yeah. altogether. He, he, like, I well, swear to Ryan God, Wilson he does not, not need to act. That Ryan Reynolds. He is. <laughs> yeah, Deadpool. no, exactly. He doesn't, yeah. He is a living embodiment of Deadpool. Exactly. He really is. Just like Robert yeah. Downey Jr. is a living embodiment of Tony Stark. But, like... I'm if, to like, if Ryan Reynolds, like, was never born, I think <laughs> Sam Rockwell would have been a sick Deadpool. If Ryan Reynolds was never born, there wouldn't have been a Deadpool movie at all. He was one of the fought for I was it. Thinking, I just realized just think, I'm Reynolds just saying, like, yeah. if it was, I think Sam Rockwell would be sick. The fact that it's because it's Deadpool... The fact that you could just pick him up with Ryan Reynolds and just pop him in the MCU, and like any discrepancies would be like, "Well, it's Deadpool. Who really cares?" They just whatever. But, do you do you want a Spider Pool movie? Spider Man Deadpool yeah. movie together? Oh, yes. yes absolutely. Especially I if do they, too. Like, I, they don't have to, but if they make a comic accurate of the um, friendship, it would be the funniest. Like it's not the first thing on my list. But, like, I wouldn't mind it down the road. Team Red. Yeah, Team Red. maybe it's a Dead, movie. We'll get Deadpool, Deadpool Spider Man, and Daredevil in, in a little series. Stop. Oh my gosh, that'd be so sweet. Um, orgasms. Eve, you know what I could yeah. see them doing with Team Red if they ever did anything? Would just be like a promo, like a little, little video together, like they did with Hulk. <laughs> Not with Hulk, with Thor. Thor and, and his roommate. Yeah, do like a little promo like that. Charlie Cox, Tom Holland, and, and Ryan Reynolds do a little video together. That'd be great. Um, yeah, Ryan Reynolds is in the MCU. That's that's gonna happen. Now, okay, so here's this. Okay, so let's ask this one question for you then, right? You know what um, I wish though? I wait, wish wait. it never leaked and it came out of nowhere Thursday. Disney buys Fox. Like, imagine. How crazy we would We don't have going. to imagine because it would have just been like when Spider Man came out of nowhere and was part of MC. It was that hype. That's what it would have been like for the X Men, but because we were kind of exactly. expecting it and waiting for it. Here we go. Fair's view is day off post credit scene. Oh, wait, this is a post credit scene? Eunice, you're. It's not working. <laughs> Stop. You did this the whole movie. What? what? <laughs> oh, Sam Jackson. <laughs> sure, Nightly. Kara Nightly, though. <laughs> I love her. Imagine. I love her to bits. And that's the end of it, guys. Um, any final thoughts? Anything you want to say about the movie? or? Uh, oh, yeah. What I wanted to say was, real quickly, I'm cutting you off, Yuna, sorry. But... <laughs> what I was going to say before the post credit scene started was, okay, so, you know, 2019, 2020, we got the the X-Men and all that are part of the MCU. There's the Deadpool storyline, you know, Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2. Now we're going to Deadpool, we'll be going to Deadpool 3, which may be X-Force or whatever. Does it just continue? Do they accept that Deadpool 1 and 2 are part of the MCU or do they just reboot the storyline no. with the actors? The same it. actors, though. Same actors. Except that you don't reboot it yet. And that's the one. That's another question. Deadpool is the one that, like, everyone's like kind of fairly okay with. Okay, reboot X Men, reboot 
no, fact, obviously, I obviously get. free boot Fantastic Four, but Deadpool's the one where everyone's like, okay, so what are you gonna do with Deadpool? That's the real question. You're not rebooting. The- Deadpool was barely a part of like the X Men universe. Like he just came. Like they haven't referenced anything throughout the whole universe featuring yeah. Deadpool. So that's why Deadpool is different very, than all the other X Men characters. And because if you look at this whole movie just right now, I'm like, this all could be in the MCU. There's not really that much that's different. Yeah, um, there isn't it's just the X Men, the X the. Characters from, but it's all about know, also. Two characters. But here, the one issue is that we don't know how the X Men are going to come into the MCU, right? So do you no? Do you wait, think wait, they were finish. already in the no, no, universe? No, no, they're not. They're not. Or in is the MCU. Doctor Strange? I was saying, I was throwing around, like, what if they do the House of M storyline and they mix it around, switch it up a little bit, twist it, and just said, through the House of M storyline, after tweaking a little bit, could be how they introduce the mutants. Through Scarlet Witch creating an alternate reality that ends up creating mutants and all that. It's That's one way you could do something like that. But, or there's also whatever, quote-unquote, fallout. I never read House of M. Mm, it's a good one. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this commentary, guys. So I'm going to have to cut it short here. And, uh, cut Simone, it short. Boy, it's been two hours. We've got to cut it at some point here. we got to cut it before Warner Brothers. cut it long. we got to cut it. Guys, we got to cut it before Warner Brothers comes and makes an extended cut. So I'm going to end it here. Eunice, where can people find you? Uh, you guys can find me at world underscore... Oh, wait, no. That one is no. gone. At Real World of Flash on Instagram. All right, and Simone, where can people find you? Oh, you can find me at World of Flash. I like World of Mirror. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys already know you can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that nerdy hero. So that's the end of the video, guys. Remember, you can like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also in the comments, write down whatever movies you guys think you want us to do for commentary as well. So as always, guys, remember keep it nerdy.